Hey guys, this is MacHeads101 with our 16th iPhone programming tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to remake... We're going to be remaking not a lot of this game, but enough of it so that we don't have to use Interface Builder to create the button for us. And the reason we're doing this is because in future tutorials, we're going to be having it so you can have multiple buttons, and buttons will be being created and deleted as the game goes on. So in order to do this, we have to first learn how to create a button ourselves. So the first thing we're going to do is not use Interface Builder for the button. So first we're going to open up the XIB file, our first game view controller. Now we're going to just select a button and hit delete. And save and quit. So now the button is gone in Interface Builder. At this point, if we run it, there will just be no button and nothing will work. So the first thing we're going to do uh, with our code to fix this is get rid of the thing next to UI button click me called ID outlet. We're going to get rid of that because it's no longer an ID outlet. It's no longer an interface builder. So we don't need that. Now let's go to our first game view controller.m and we're going to create this button right here with code on our own. So we're going to say, um, what is it? Click me equals UI button button with type. UI button type rounded rect. So what this will do is it'll make a new button with the rounded rectangle effect that we saw in Interface Builder and it'll assign that new button to click me. Now this button will have no frame, it'll have no title, it'll have no actions. So what we're gonna do is set the title and I'll say click me and for state, it just wants a control state, so I'll explain this in a second. Basically what the state is, is the type or the time where it'll show this title. So if you had highlighted, then when you highlight the button, it'll show this title. If you have, you know, there are a couple different ones. UI control state normal just means set this title no matter what. So basically it just ignores this and just sets the title. Next we have to set the frame. So click me, set frame. And it was something along the lines of 10, 10, 100, 100. So the X will be 10, the Y will be 10, the width will be 100, and the height will be 100. Now the last thing we have to do is add this button to our view. So we do self.view, add subview, click me. And this creates the button, this sets the title, this positions and sets the size of the button, and this actually says go ahead and display this button. So now we've got that done. If we run it, we should see the button bouncing around. Unfortunately, when we click the button, nothing happens. And that's because we didn't set up our action. So what we're going to do now is add something called an action to the button. Uh, add target self action selector button. What's it called? Button click. For control events, UI control event, touch up inside. Now I'll go over this in order. So the target is the object that will basically, that cares when this button is pressed. In this case, it's this object, because if we go down here, the code is in this file and the same instance. You don't really have to worry about this too much, just know it's, um, that it's the thing that will receive the action. Next, the action is the function to call or the method to call. In this case, it's button click. And method names are basically all the text that's not in parentheses or right next to parentheses. So button click colon is pretty much the method name here. And as you can see, it's displayed right up there as button click. So if we go back here. Basically, what at selector does is it says inside of these parentheses are a met is a method name. This is the method that I'm giving. This just converts this into a method, basically. UI control event touch up inside. That basically means that when their finger is lifted from inside of the button, it'll call the action. So when I click down inside of the button, it won't do anything. But when I let go, if my finger was inside of that button, it'll count. If it wasn't inside of the button, it won't, it won't do anything. So, touch up inside. That's what that does. And the control events just mean this is when you will call this. 
So now that you understand this, hopefully, let's run it. And when you click the button, it'll randomize its coordinates. So basically, we've done the same thing. We just we this does exactly the same thing in the previous tutorial, except we didn't use interface builder to create the button. Now, um, if we have a look, there was one other thing I wanted to go over in this tutorial that I didn't mention at the beginning. Uh, someone left a video response on my previous tutorial, and I really appreciate it. He was showing how the bounds of the screen are actually different. So, you know the resolution of the iPhone screen is 320 by 480, but there's actually a status bar up here that's about 20 pixels. So, the height of the actual view controller isn't 480 pixels, as I said it was down here. So, in order to actually get the height, we say self.view.frame.size.height. Basically, that's all you have to do. And that fixes the problem that, like, occasionally it would go under there and have a, have a glitch. But it, it, it doesn't really, it doesn't do that often. Um, like, as you can see, I can't really get it to even do that. But, yeah. Uh, now it's, now if you run it, it'll be even better will be 100% fixed. So that's uh, iPhone programming 16. In our next video, I think we're going to be having multiple buttons. I'm not sure about that yet, but um, yeah. So go ahead and anticipate that. All right, so thanks for watching MacHeads101. Subscribe and goodbye.